before this video begins, I'd just like to remind you all I'm doing a giveaway on my Twitter, so make sure you go check that out. The link to it will be in the pinned comments down below. So with all that being said, I'm going to try the video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everything else in between. I hope you're having a good day, night, or whatever time it is for you. So in today's video, I'm showing you how you can both catch and chain and evolve Lil Bulb inside of Doodle World, and you do not have to leave any specific area. So, well, well the social part that is. So with all that being said, let's get into it. So if you want to evolve your Lil Bulb, you can either come over to the little items area here, and if you've got enough VP saved up, you can buy some level up cubes to do it. Although, if you don't have enough because you spent them on the little bulb encounter, I'll show you how you can easily level it up. So, now that you've done that, if you actually take the subway, you, you'll get the menus option, which you then you just need to go to Von Sweetsville, and you'll actually arrive right next to this guy here. Now, all you need to do is interact with him and beat him up a couple times. This will give you enough XP to evolve your little bulb. So, as you can see here, once a little bulb has reached level 30, you can evolve it. Now, if you did catch one from the um, area from the shop in the social pack, all you need to do is level up once, either with a level up cube or doing a battle, which I'm pretty sure it will either take one or two battles to get it up a level once it is at, what once it's up a level 30, that is. So, all you need to do is click yes, and as you can see right here, your little bulb will evolve. This will also count for a task, as evolving it is one of its free tasks that you want to do. So, if you want to try and get a six star misprint hinge rate one, you can do that, it's a pretty easy soft reset as well, because all you need to do is run from it and then you can do it once. All you need to do is pay for it once and then you get an encounter, but you can constantly chain for it. It's just once you've got one, you need to buy it again. So, of course, with all that being said, I hope you're having a good day, night, or whatever time it is for you. I hope you're enjoying the social pack update. See ya.